Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will create an angle finder project. We will first define two lines using mouse clicks and then we will find the angle between these lines using simple mathematics. I upload videos on a weekly basis, so don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming content. So let's get started. So in the previous part, we first imported our libraries and then we uh, imported our image. Now our image, if you don't recall, it's basically some angles that we will test out. Of course, you can use any image you like. And then we started off with displaying this image. And after that, we created the mouse points uh, function, which basically detects uh, where the mouse is clicked and then it appends it to our points list and we also added the option of um, deleting all the points that we add and uh, by pressing the Q key so if we run what we did before and if I click anywhere and then I press Q you can see that it deletes and you can see here that it detected three points and then it deleted them so what we can do is we can click here and then we can click here and then when we click here it should give us the angle so whenever we have three values in our points list we are supposed to find the angle so that is the first thing that we will do now so over here we are going to write that if the length of our points list is equals to three then we are going to, for example, um, we will get the angle. Okay, so let's say that is the function and we can, we can write the function over here. Uh, let's write it down. So we will write here, get angle and we will just pass for now. So over here, you can see that uh, whenever we have the value equals to 3 the length of the points list it will get the angle but uh, that that is okay to if you are just checking one angle but the thing is uh, if we are checking multiple angles we want it to keep going and checking again and again so giving us the output again and again as we go along so instead of doing that let's just print out uh, we can we can just write here angle okay so it will output the angle let's say let's imagine that it will output the angle so if we run this now and if we look at our output so if I click one time then second time and then the third time it will tell us the output of the angle output right but that is not what we want we want to repeat as I mentioned so what we can do is we can write here that instead of checking if it's equals to 3 we will check that is it divisible by 3 or not you can do that by adding modulus so here we can see that uh, if we divide whatever the value over here is by 3 and what is the answer that we get if we get 0 it means it's divisible by 3 so in that case we will get our angle now if we run this now um, okay it's not showing that problem but the problem is that um, if it will also run at zero so we have to avoid that so we, we will also write and length of points list is not equals to zero so these are the two conditions whenever those are met we are going to get our angle so let's have a look at how we are actually going to get the angle so the idea is fairly simple let's say that we have these two lines and we want to find the angle theta between them so what we can do is we can write uh, the equation that tan theta is equals to m1 minus m2 plus uh, uh, divided by 1 plus m1 into m2 and we'll take the modulus of that 
Now, the thing is that M1 and M2 are basically the gradient or uh, some people refer it as slope. So it's, it's basically how much it tilts. So we are going to find the gradient and once we have the gradient, we are going to use this equation to find our uh, angle. So how can we find the gradient? It, the gradient is basically y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's go ahead and write that down. So we will create the gradient first. So over here, uh, let's write it above. So we write here that gradient and then we need points one and then we need points two. So once we have these two points, we can uh, find the gradient. So how can we do that? So we can write an equation or let's just return because it's just a single line. We don't need to write an equation. So here we can write that we want to return our points to, right? And points to at number one. This is the second element. So zero and one, that's, that's a second element. Uh, so basically our points one will be something like this. So it will have X and Y. So our points one, will be something like this and uh, let's say we will call this x1 and then this will be y1 and then points 2 will be something like x2 and then y2 so we are taking this second element and then we will subtract it with this element which is points 1 uh, I did not put an s so points 1 and then it is y1 so we will put it as one again and then as i mentioned before we have to divide so we will write here divided by and we will put another bracket and we will say that points one uh, no points two at zero minus points one at zero Again, I missed an S, so I'm, I'm not putting an S. Actually, let's remove the S from here as well. So it's like this. So now we can send any uh, points one and points two to this uh, function, gradient function, and it will give us the gradient. So we can remove this. And uh, what we have to do is we have to uh, send the points over here. So whenever we say get angle, we are going to send in our points list. And based on that points list, we are going to get the last three elements. So again, we, we are assuming that we have done all of the other angles before, and we are only going to do the last one now. So starting from the very beginning, it will do the first one, and then it will have two angles to find so it will skip the first one because it already has done it and it will go to the second one so that's why we need the uh, last three elements so what we will do is the first thing we will write here let's remove this and let's write here uh, points list so let's write here that our points one and then point two and then point three is equals to our points list and we just want the last three elements so we are going to write it like this so we can print this out print um, let's say all of these so if I run this uh, yeah it should work so if I run this and we click one time, nothing happens. Second, nothing happens. If you click the third time and you can see that we have our points. And if we click again, nothing happens, nothing happens. And if we click again, and then you can see now the points are updated. So let's remove this. And over here, we are going to write uh, that we want the gradients. So M1 is equals to gradient and we will send in our points so points one and then points two 
again i'm writing s where i should not be and then we are going to write m2 and then we will write gradient and then we are going to write point 1 and then uh, point 3 why is there an extra bracket okay so this will give us the gradients of uh, both of the points and then we can simply find our angle using the angle r uh, now the equation that we saw basically gives us the angle in radians so we will convert it into degrees so later on so we are writing it as radians now so math dots tan inverse and then we are going to do we are going to write m2 minus m1 and then we will say that divided by 1 plus m2 multiplied by m1 so that will give us the value in radians and then we will find the value in degrees so we will write here round we want it um, we don't want decimal places so we will write round and then we will do math dot degrees and then we will write angle r so that should give us the angle so let's just print it out and we will print the angle in degrees so anything else we're printing no okay so let's run this and let's see if we click here then we click here and then we click let's say oh, here and then we are getting 13 degrees so well it's not perfect but as you can see there's human error so we are getting 13 when it should be 12 and uh, probably because of the thickness of the the lines as well but it's a good estimate now uh, the next thing we can do is we can try another one so we can write here one two and then three and now we're getting 66 it's 67 we are getting 66 it's very close so this way we can keep uh, checking our angles so we can write we can click here and then we can let's say click here you are getting uh, 46 now again the minus and plus oh, we we didn't add the modulus that's why it's showing us this so now you can see that I made a mistake and I clicked first over here I'm supposed to click the first one should be here so this uh, to solve this I can just press Q and it will delete all the previous ones and I can click again and as you can see here it's giving me 62 so this is it for today's video in the next part we are going to draw our lines and we are also going to place uh, our um, value of our angle in the correct uh, area and then we will test out a few images to see how it performs if you like the video give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one